It's a warm Saturday morning in the middle of April, and today I'm going to go for a drive, and my wife and my dogs, we're going to go hang out in the sunshine, which is not really my my thing, but there are very few places where I can let my dogs go and be dogs in Korea. Uh, but the places that you can go, like uh, dog cafes, are incredible. The one we're going to today has a large outside field all fenced in for for safety and they've got a a small dog section and a large dog section and it's just it's very relaxing and it's fun and it's pretty much the only place I can ever see my dogs run you know I can take a ball and just and fire it so we're gonna have some simple fun today and uh, I'm looking forward to that but while I'm waiting for the family to get ready I thought I would record a quick clip and ask you a question as I mentioned in the recent Shadows Cast episode, Volume 2, Episode 1, I will be starting, finally, a Pendragon campaign. And the players I've chosen, uh, I've chosen for a reason, and I've been quite happy that they've agreed to play. And one thing that sets Pendragon apart from other games is the fact that it incorporates personality mechanics. And by that I mean one aspect of play is passions. The characters are... The average character is a knight, and they have knightly virtues. And these are described in the character sheet as passions. And these are opposed passions. You know, like chaste love versus lustful love. And... Uh, as you come into particular situations which might test these passions, dice are rolled and it's determined which side of that coin is dominant in the night. And the challenge for the player is to make that happen in character. Right. Uh, are they the, the loyal and chaste protector of the maiden, or are they wooing with intent to bed? You know. <laughs> and where do these drives come from? But in these modern days, with so many indie games and uh, talk of you know, various types of agency and not being controlled or dominated in the recent PvP discussion where, you know, it's all right to to cow or manipulate or use diplomacy on or bluff an NPC, but it's not cool to do that to a player character. What about when the character sheet is actually doing that to the player and saying, okay, in this situation, you have to give in to your anger. So, as modern players of modern games, how do you feel about a mechanic like this? What do you think you would be able to do in a situation where the dice indicated how your personality was going to swing? And if some of the players in the group were fine with it, but one or two weren't, what would you do? <laughs>